baby. Hi. Hey, about to get off to work. Right. So listen, listen, listen. Okay. So I'm super excited about this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So a friend of mine that that at work said that her husband's uh, firm is hiring, and I think that that will be such. A good opportunity for you. So, listen, before you even go crazy, I already sent them your resume. I already did it and sent it in. And this could be, like, so good for us. Baby, you right? know I already have a job. I know you have a job. I know. I know you have a job. I know you have a job. I know you have a fucking job. I know you have this job. But this is different because it's salary. And, you know, we we want to get vacation home. And we want, like, so, you know, just can you think about it? Maybe I make enough money. You no, know, you don't. You you don't. You're Junior's your boss and he makes more money than you and Supervisor. You are spelling boss wrong. Okay? Um, I want you to just think about it. I'll think about it. Good! Think about it. Okay, time. What's the answer? Dad, you still here? It's 7.15. I'm talking to your mother. You gotta work at 7.30. That's a 20 minute drive, man. You see what I'm talking about? Dude, he gonna write you up. Listen, again. The boy ain't got no respect. Okay. Hey, come over here. Have a seat. We need to talk to you. Ain't no we need to talk to nobody. Yeah, we do. No, you do. Y'all at the queen. I ain't got nothing to do with this. Sit down. You see the attitude? Uh, no, I don't. He's just trying to get to work. This is what I deal with at work. You late. What do you mean I'm late? You late. What do you mean you late? You late. Like, he's trying to get to work on time. He's trying to be an example for you, and you sitting here with your Dairy Queen shirt, and he's just trying to get to work. Like, he he, he don't want to have to write you up. Like, you know, it's embarrassing. Dad, it'll be the third time this week. You snitching on me, boy? It's not snitching. It's doing my job. The Whoa. job that I got you. Wow. Ungrateful. I don't I don't think so. That's from your side of the family. It, it is. It is from my side of the family. I'm gonna take complete responsibility for this because your son just wants to get to work on time and you sitting here playing games. He calls me Gerald at work. He I wouldn't call you dad either if I had to write you up. I'm his father. Wow. I call you Gerald at work because I don't want people to know that I'm my father's boss. Supervisor, you're not my boss. I ain't got a boss. He your boss. He your damn boss. Dad, kids laugh at me at school. Some of our coworkers are my classmates. Is that why you never had me come to career day? Boy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dad, everyone at my school knows where you work. We just gotta cross the street. What I told you, I said, I said, if you're going to work this queen, queen job, the least you can do is find a location that is not directly across the street from his school. So, so you're ashamed of me? Well, I'm not ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of what you do. But I love you, though. Yeah, y'all going to have to go ahead and figure this out because that's the door. But just figure it out. Y'all work at the same big Oh, hi, Ken. Can we speak to Gerald? Um, little Gerald, a little too old to be hanging out with y'all, but uh, he's about to go to work, so he's not even available. No, we want to speak to Mr. Gerald. Oh, wow. Did your mama know you come to people's house asking for grown men? Is he here or not? First of all, little girl, um, I am a grown woman, and I don't have no problem putting hey, my hey, hands on my guys, face. Hey, guys, hey, here's the ice cream I promised you guys. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Mr. Gerald. You guys are welcome. You guys are welcome. When did you start doing that? What do you mean? They came out of the store yesterday. I told them to come by here and get some ice cream. You did. We got plenty of it in the fridge. We got plenty of it in the fridge. Why do you have this shirt on? What are you doing? I'm going to work. Like, okay, look, come on. Just, let's finish this yeah, conversation. What? Come on. You, when when you start giving out ice cream to the kids in the neighborhood, like this is this is why he's embarrassed because you out here, your father just gave some kids some ice cream at the door, and a little girl. Let me tell you, this little girl had one more time. I'm gonna knock her little head off because she out here asking for Mr. Gerald. Baby, 
they came by the store and I told them to come by the house to get some stuff. We got a ton of it in the refrigerator. Why not just get it out? You get on my nerves. You really just, he, he's sick and tired of it. I am sick and tired of it. And um, I, um, you know what, we'll talk because you got to go to work because you are a good employee and um, he don't want to be late because some people don't care. I'll be at work. That boy gonna write you up. He don't even look out for me. How he's supposed to? He's 15. What are you talking about? He's I'm his dad. He's your boss. Supervisor. Is that why you never had me come to career day? <laughs> <laughs> dad, it'd be the third time this week. You snitching on me? One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> 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 We want to speak to Mr. Jerry. We want to speak to Mr. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you right. know I already have a job. 